Welcome to the channel, I'm Jay Malone. Today, we're gonna to do a Camp Chef controller upgrade. There are many reasons that you might need a new controller for your Camp Chef grill. Mine was giving me flame outs on the low smoke setting. I contacted Camp Chef. Uh, they upgraded me with this newer model of a controller here. So I'm gonna show you how to replace it today. I'm gonna to be using one of these electric drills. You can totally use one of these, but let's face it, these are no fun. Let's get started removing the screws that we need to so we can put this new controller in. First thing you wanna do is unplug your Camp Chef pellet grill. We'll start by removing the two screws on the controller. But as you can see, when you do that, if you pull this out, you really don't have enough slack because it is still connected underneath. So now let's get it uh, undone from underneath. Before we can do that, we have four screws that we need to remove. One on the front, two on the end, and another one on the back. Uh, that'll allow us to pull out this grate that is on the bottom. We can remove that grate. Now that we have this bottom grate removed, now we've got to get down on the ground and get up underneath this thing. Now, as you can see here, we have these wires. They are zip tied up here. Uh, you might have to cut the little zip tie. That way you can still get to these connectors. Now that we have the zip ties cut, we just need to undo these connectors. That way we can remove the controller. Now that we have these connectors undone, we need to go back around to the front and pull our controller out. Now you can pull this controller out and there is one more cable that we have to undo. So we'll take this top cable right here and simply just press on this and remove that. And now our old controller is free. Let's grab the new controller. Now that we have our new controller, let's go ahead and hook up this first cable here. That is ready. Let's go ahead and set this in here. In fact, we can go ahead and put the screws back in this now so it holds that in there. Now we just gotta climb back down on the ground. As you can see, these connectors were labeled. Uh, the only one that wasn't was the power cable and it's right here. So, so basically all we have to do now is connect all of these connectors back together. Connectors are all connected, so let's try it out and make sure it works. Okay, let's plug the pellet grill back in. Let's try the power button. So now let's put it up on the low smoke setting to see what happens. It works. Now just make sure and put your bottom grate back on. And that's all there is to changing out one of these controllers. It's really not that hard as you can see. If you enjoy cooking, grilling, pretty much anything food related, then start off by hitting that subscribe button. When you do, check the little bell icon next to it, that way you won't miss anything. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And remember, on the grill or in the kitchen, here in the Mid-South, we do flavor.